Good morning, dear students, and welcome to Monetary Economics class taken by Pratap Hegde for BCom third semester. As I was telling in the previous video, I explained to you about the simple index numbers and how to construct it with an example. Now we are going to study how to construct a weighted index number using weightages provided to the different commodities. So, first of all, what do you mean by weights or what do you mean by weightage? Weightage is given as per the importance of that commodity. Like for example, out of all these commodities, which is more important? Food is more important out of all the other three commodities, isn't it? Therefore, when calculating index number, more importance is given to the commodity which has more importance in our life. So, as rice is more important or in simple terms, food is more important compared to cloth, rent or education, we give more weightage to the rice commodity. So, this one here is weightages given to each commodity according to their importance. So, rice is more important that's why more weightage that is about 6 units is given to the rice as weightage and next comes cloth therefore the second importance is given to this commodity then comes house rent or rent whatever else then third importance is given to providing rent and last importance compared to all these products is given to education that's why least importance out of this is given to the education purposes so in simpler terms let's say uh, 100 unit is given to all these products that is index number this is price relative uh, this 100 is price relative and multiplied by weightages given to all these commodities according to their importance in our daily life. So, 100 is pure number after contracting or after calculating base year prices. So, 100 into 6 this is 600, uh, 100 into 5 that is 500, 100 into 4 that will become 400 and 100 into 3 that will become 300. Now, what is the total of this P into R? This is 1800. This is summation of weighted index numbers that will become to 1800. Now coming to the current year prices and weightages. In the current year, let us assume that index number values has increased from 100 to 300. Let's say prices have increased to 300 and also quantities have increased to 100 to 300 and also cloth has also increased from 100 to 200 after calculation and also edu uh, rent has also increased from 100 to 400 and as well education has increased from 100 to 200 in the current year. Now we have to assume, assign same weightages as provided in the base year in the commodities to the current year commodities also. What was the weightage for rice in the base year? It was 6. Therefore, we are multiplying it by the same weightage. For cloth, we assigned 5 units as weightage. Here also, we assigned 5 units. For rent, we assigned 4 units. Here also, we assigned 4 as weightage and 3 here for education because we have assigned 3 as the base year weightage for education also. Now, let's total all this PR into weights. 300 into 6 becomes 1800, 200 into 5 becomes 1000, 400 into 4 becomes 1600 and 200 into 3 becomes 600. Now, what do we have to do? We have to use this formula. The formula is for 
calculating weighted index numbers so weighted index number is equal to summation of weighted index numbers divided by total number of weightages total number of weightages becomes this total all the total of weightages given to the respective commodities now calculate the weighted index number for the base year becomes summation of weighted index number that is 1800 divided by the summation of all these weightages that will become 18 isn't it now divide it 1800 divided by 18 that will become 100 Thousand eight hundred divided by this eighteen. That is the summation of total number of weightages. Understood? So the index number for the base year becomes hundred. Now coming to the weighted index number of the current year. How do you calculate it? You calculate it by using the same formula. Weighted index number is equal to summation of weighted indexes divided by summation of total number of weights here also weighted index number is equal to summation of weighted index divided by summation of total number of weightages so as we know the total number of weightages is uh, total number of indexes is 5000 5000 divided by what is the total of weighted numbers that is 18 isn't it so by dividing it we will get 5000 divided by 18 is equal to 277.7 so the index number for the current year will be 277.77 now when you deduct base year index with current year index you will get 277.7 minus 100 you will get the total increase in the prices total increase in the values of the current year compared to base year so what do you get by deducting 277.7 minus this 100 you will get 177.77 that unit will show the actual increase in the prices of all these commodities so weighted index number is considered as a more accurate and more correct way for measuring changes in the prices with respect to base year and current year because it provides importance for the respective commodities according to their importance in our lives but what happened in the simple index number in the simple index number all these commodities held equal importance but in the weighted index number importance is being given by assigning them weights so the commodity which holds more important in our life is given more weightages or more units of weights and the commodities or the goods which have less importance according to this uh, example will be given less weightage that is 3 isn't it so this method of calculation of index number is considered as more accurate and more apt because it provides importance and it also calculates relative changes according to two time periods therefore uh, you can calculate index numbers by using both simple index numbers and also weighted index numbers also i hope this example 
is understood in case you have any doubt you can uh, ask me for more examples also also you can watch it in repeat also so that's all for today's class let's continue the next topic in the next video